So there's some big withdrawals over the last 24 hours. We've got a reshuffling of the seeds for the Olympics. There's actually 16 seeds for the men and the women, so it's kind of a bit of a smaller tournament than we're used to. Let's go over and see who's going to be the top seeds for this event. All right, starting on the women's side, we've got the top four seeds are going to be Sviontek, Goff, Rabakina, and Paulini in that order. Then you've got Pagula, Zhang, Sakri, and Collins rounding out the top eight. Of course, those players can't play until the quarterfinals. Then you've got Krajikova, Ostapenko, Navarro, and Kostyuk as the next four. And then rounding out the top 16, you've got Vekic, Hadaj Maya, Schneider, and Fernandez. So some of those players aren't expected, or you wouldn't expect to be a top 16 seed. Someone like a Schneider or even Vekic, but because of having really good couple of weeks over the Wimbledon season, over the grass season, and Schneider last week winning a tournament, they're going to be seeded at this year's Olympics. Over on the men's side, we've got some massive changes because of Sinner pulling out. Djokovic is going to be number one seed, followed by Elkaraz, Zverev, and Medvedev. They're going to be the top four seeds for this Olympics. Followed by Diminor, Rude, Fritz and City Pass, and that's going to be the top eight. Of course, they can't play until the quarterfinals. So massive for City Pass to get into that number eight spot, avoiding some of the big dogs until the end. The next four, you've got Paul, Umber, Musetti, and Baez. And then to round out the top 16, you've got Ojeliasim, Feast, Tabillo, and Jarry. Now, Jarry just got elevated because Runa pulled out. So both Sinner and Runa pulling out gives both those Chilean players at the end of the top 16 a chance to be seeded and avoid those top guys. Like I said, avoid the top players until later in the tournament. So there it is. That is the updated list of seeds for the Olympics and the draw comes out today. So it's going to be interesting to see who is going to be playing those top seeds and also who's going to be unseeded because there are a lot of unseeded players. This is not like a 1000 event where you've got 32 seeds. It's only 16 seeds. So if you're outside, you know, if you're sort of like between 20 and 30 in the world, and in some good form, you could be a threat of beating one of these top seeds. But that's the seeds for the Olympics. It starts on Saturday.